Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today we're going to talk about running light bulbs at weird voltages. Now what really brings this up was uh, recently I designed and made a 3D printed object that lets us take a light bulb, just screws right into here, and then pop that onto a cordless tool battery. <laughs> let there be light. Uh, pretty slick. I've been pretty happy with this. Uh, just a neat little gadget, uh, very inexpensive, simple, and you've got a great portable light for emergencies, camping, whatever. But I found out in the comments that there were a lot of people who don't have a complete understanding of how light bulbs work. Uh, for example, one comment was battery output DC, LED light input AC. Something is missing misleading. Well, it's not misleading at all. What happened was this viewer assumed that all light bulbs are 120 volts and can only run on alternating current. And that's simply not true. There's a whole lot of different types of lighting technologies, incandescent, CFL, LED. Um, there's also a wide range of bases. These are the very popular, typical medium screw-in base, but there's pins, there's all sorts of other types of connections. And light bulbs don't have to necessarily run on AC either. So for just a good, simple, oh right, of course, type of an example, think about an automotive headlight. In a car, it has headlights, and those lights are running off the battery. So that's at 12 volts, not 120 and the battery is going to be DC power, not AC power. Another example would be low voltage landscape lighting. What's interesting about that is it uses a transformer to go from 120 volts AC down to 12 volts AC. That's primarily for safety. You can just have uh, some simple wires running around your deck or buried a couple of inches under the dirt with very little risk of shock. So that's running at 12 volts, but still alternating current instead of direct current. So on this little project here, all I did was I specifically looked for a light bulb. Uh, starting with, I wanted it to be LED, so it'd be a very low power draw and also nice and cool. But I wanted to make sure it had that typical uh, medium screw-in base and be able to run on DC power. And this one is a Lemang brand 12-volt LED light bulb. It was absolutely perfect for this project. Now, the other thing you're probably thinking, though, is, wait a minute, that's not 12 volt, that's an 18 volt lithium battery. And that's absolutely correct. Uh, sometimes these are called 20 volt batteries because that's what the battery is when it's fully charged. So I wanted to make sure to have a bulb that could run on a range of voltages. And right on the box on this one, it shows that range of voltages that we can run this bulb at up to 30 volts. Now, really, the only downside of that is this is a little bit expensive light bulb. It's like three, three and a half dollars or so each when you buy them in a multi-pack. Um, I did find a couple other light bulbs out there that were a little bit less expensive. Uh, this one is a Blue X brand. This is also a 12 volt DC LED light bulb. Um, it does feel a little cheaper. Uh, the diffuser on it's not quite as good. And when we look on the box, it doesn't say anything about it running on a range of voltages. So I thought what we'd do is we'd take this benchtop power supply right here, uh, which I have just a, a typical light bulb base connected to. I thought we'd screw in a couple different light bulbs and see what kind of information we get by looking at the voltage and the current right on here. So let's start off by testing this incandescent 120 volt light bulb. This is marked as being rated at 60 watts. And because we've been talking about 12 volt light bulbs, I've got our power supply set to about 12 volts. And let's just screw this in. And I've got nothing there. Um, it actually shows a little bit of uh, power flow on our current side over here, but there's no light, nothing's going on. So let's crank this up. Now keep in mind this power supply maxes out at 30 volts DC. So I'm just gonna keep turning it up till we get something. Past 20 volts, still nothing. Oh, what do we got? Okay, now we're just getting a little tiny something. Um, you can see a little bit of orange here. It's barely, barely a glow. 
uh, but it is also using a third of an amp of current, and at 30 volts, that's about 10 watts, which is primarily heat. I mean, this thing is hardly giving off any light at all, but it's, it's warm. Um, that's definitely giving off some heat. And so what's really going on right now is this is a very inefficient style of light bulb. It's mostly making heat, not light, but the voltage is just too low for what the light bulb's designed for, and it isn't able to make enough current flow to light this thing up. So let's turn this back off and try one of our 12 volt LEDs. This one is our Lemang light bulb, which I've had very good success with, and it is listed as being able to run at up to 30 volts. So if I thread this in, we're already up at 30 volts and we get a nice bright amount of light. And since we're at 0.3 amps, uh, we're using less than 10 watts of power with this light bulb. And <laughs> before with that incandescent, we had 10 watts of just heat. <laughs> and here we're getting a, a tremendous amount of light instead. Now let's take a look what happens if we bring our voltage down because this is supposed to run on a range of uh, basically like a 12 volt battery up to 30 volts. So let's bring it down. Uh, one thing I'm starting to see here is that our current is changing with voltage. As I drop the voltage, current is increasing. So essentially the power that the bulb is taking is more or less steady. So right at uh, around 12 volts, about half an amp, about six watts or so, six or seven watts. Now, what if we bring it down? Ooh, okay. So on camera, you can't really see it at the light bulb, but you, for example, you can see the light on my hand here that as we drop below about 10 and a half volts, the current drops very quickly. So now our power is being dropped and below about eight volts, it's just dead. There's just no current at all. And I can actually hear a little relay kick out inside this machine. So it won't run at eight volts, but you know, 10 and a half volts on up, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to, and it'll do it all the way up to about 30 volts, uh, which is also the max I can do on here. But let's see about our third light bulb here. So this is our Blue X bulb. This is only marked as 12 volt. It doesn't say anything about 18 or 20 volts on the box. Uh, this is marked as a six watt non-dimmable LED light bulb. It is 3000 Kelvin, so it's a little bit less warm color temperature than the Lemang light bulb. Let's turn this on. And at 12 volts DC, runs great, nice and bright, pulling half an amp. So yeah, it's a six watt light bulb. Um, let's drop the voltage, see what happens. Yeah, you get down below 10 and the current starts going down and you can see the brightness of the bulb drops. So below that range it's designed to run on, it's going to be lower power, lower brightness, but let's take it up. So now we're in the range of a 12 volt battery. Let's go above that. And it looks like, again, the current is dropping a little bit as the voltage increases. Here we are at 20 volts, which is... Uh, the maximum charged voltage of a 18 volt battery like this one. And it looks like it's running just fine. So I'd have no problem running this bulb directly on a 18 volt battery. Let's take it up a little higher, go up to 30. Looks like our current is still dropping a bit. Oh, another thing here too, 24 volts. Um, let's say you had an off grid cabin or something with a 24 volt DC solar system bulb like this would work fine for lighting your house straight off that battery pack. Well, that's interesting. We get a little bit of a jump in current as I get to about 30 volts there. But it looks like it has uh, no issues at all running on that 30 volts. 
So there's a lot of different types of light bulbs out there, a wide variety, and if you know a little bit about them, you can use the appropriate light for whatever your project happens to be, even if it's running a light bulb straight off of a cordless tool battery pack. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you check out the description of the video and the comments. And until next time, stay charged up.